So Eric Ten Hag's era is over after two and a half years and two trophies. For any other club outside our biggest rivals, Ten Hag's trophies would make him a big success. But this, of course, is Manchester United. And it's not just our woeful position in both the Premier League and the Europa League that's ended the Ten Hag era. It's a lack of goals, a lack of identity and a lack of confidence that things will improve quickly enough that's called time on Eric Ten Hag. Personally, I am disappointed because I think Eric would have turned things around this season. And I am bored with this groundhog situation of having to start a game with a new manager. United are now in search of our seventh manager since Sir Alex Ferguson departed 11 years ago. And the early reports suggest that Ruben Amorim is a man Ineos wants to replace Eric Ten Hag. It was David Ornstein in The Athletic this morning who broke the news that Eric Ten Hag had been sacked, shortly before it was announced on the official club website. And The Athletic are leading the way again with the news that Sporting Lisbon's head coach is United's number one target. According to The Athletic, the 39-year-old is open to taking up the opportunity and United are ready to pay the €10 million Euros release clause in his contract, with the two clubs in talks to finalise a deal. We've already been informed on the club website that Ruud van Nistelrooy will take charge of the team as interim head coach, supported by the current coaching team, while a permanent head coach is recruited. Now, whatever you think of Ten Hag departing, this is all far from ideal. £600 million spent on players since Eric arrived. Now we're expecting a new guy to work with the players who weren't his choice. That's rarely a recipe for success unless you're taking over a team of champions. And this United squad are a long way short of that title. But this is a bold move by Ineos, who clearly believe Amorim won't be able to turn down the glamour of Manchester United, despite the belief that Amorim is high on the list of candidates to replace Pep Guardiola if he moves on at the end of the season or later. Meantime, I do suspect that Ineos were planning ahead when they agreed to let Eric Ten Hag bring in Ruud van Nistelrooy as his new right-hand man in the summer. Ruud is potentially an elite manager in the making. He's certainly well-equipped to be our caretaker manager. And we all know United fans will absolutely love to see Ruud do well in the hot seat. There's no doubt Ruud finds himself in the right place at the right time to convert his opportunity and make himself an instant hero, in the short term at least. Sound familiar? In Rue's favour is that he's already tasted success in his one season in charge at PSV, winning a cup and finishing second in the league. But Dutch football is a long way short of Premier League level, as Eric Ten Hag found out after overachieving in his first season at Manchester United. Whatever happens next, this is surely far too early for Rue to get the United job full-time. Having said that, I do think there's a big chance he'll hit the ground running, just like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did. I wouldn't be surprised in the least if we win both our upcoming matches this week. Leicester at home in the League Cup on Wednesday and Chelsea at Old Trafford on Sunday. They're both very much the ideal games for Rude to start with. That's because this squad is not as bad as our league position suggests. And our next run of games is a good platform to start our recovery. Clearly, We've underperformed so far this season. Yesterday, we really should have hammered West Ham. And if we did, we'd probably now be talking about the potential to surge back up the table with Eric still in charge. Having survived some horrific results in the past, it seems ironic that Eric has fallen on his sword after one of the best 45 minutes we've seen this season in that first half against the Hammers. However painful it's been up to this point, I do think we were close to Ten Hag's plan starting to take effect. And if we start our revival under Rude, it will prove these players had it in them all along if we stuck to the plan. Poor finishing left Eric shaking his head in disbelief at the London Stadium. And in the end, a shocking VAR decision put the final nail in Eric Ten Hag's coffin. As an isolated setback, no one would have been ringing the alarm bells. But the size of United still in 14th place is embarrassing. And with the season almost 25% over, Eric is the man who's easiest to blame. Sunday simply proved one defeat too many for Ineos in the face of intense media pressure and a growing army of disillusioned fans. His players must take their share of the responsibility, but I don't believe there was a lack of team spirit or personnel. There are plenty of good players in this squad, certainly for a team in transition. I just think they've underperformed. I do find the timing odd 
because Ineos had invested heavily in giving Eric a chance to finish the job he'd spent two years growing into. When they gave Eric an extended contract and another £200 million to spend on players in the summer, they clearly weren't intending to make Eric Ten Hag the Premier League's first sacking of the season. But I do think that Sir Jim Ratcliffe is ultimately a man in a hurry. And the bottom line is that Eric Ten Hag was always a manager chosen by the previous regime. So on the one hand, it's easy for Ineos to say this is not their fault. And the real revolution starts now. But their record of making the right managerial appointments has not gone well for their French club Nice, where they're currently on their seventh manager in five years. That's double the turnover we've had at Old Trafford. So will United now complete the recruitment of Ruben Amorin? And if they can't get him now, will Ruud van Nistelrooy be the caretaker manager until the end of the season? We saw what happened when Solskjaer impressed in his honeymoon period and he got the job full time. It'll be interesting to see what the public perception will be if Rude does the same. That may prove academic, of course, if Ineos get a Amorim to commit in the short term. So much depends on how persuasive Ineos can be. Whatever happens, Rude will get the support of United fans at Old Trafford in our next two matches. And if he does well, that will stand him in good stead for the future, whether that's until the end of the season or just a handful of games. A good showing now. And I expect Rude will be on the shortlist next time around. Meantime, I do hope that if Amorim is the man to replace Eric, that Rude will be kept on as part of the coaching team.